Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. I know I said I was only going to have one this week, but I lied apparently. But I have a fabulous idea and I needed some materials for it. And I picked up some other crafting items. So I'm going to have another Pinterest nail it or fail it coming up for a Halloween decoration. And I needed some materials for that. And then I have some Christmas DIYs coming up. And while the things are in the stores, you need to go pick them up. So let's go through what I purchased. We'll do the big stuff first. Um, I did find the last two of these, which is hat forms. There was two in my store and I snatched them up. Um, because I'm thinking elf hat and Santa hat for Christmas. So I grabbed two of those. Like I said, those are the last two that my store had. They're going fast. I also, and I'll tell you a little story about these. I grabbed, well, I bought seven, but you're only going to need three of these. But I needed extra to do the project, and I'm making something for somebody else. So these are just the beware signs. Now, if your store doesn't have these signs... What you can do, and this is what I had in my hand because I didn't see the beware signs hung up. I grabbed a piece of foam core board, which you're still going to need a piece of this board. Oh, I spilled tea on it. Um, for the project, so you're going to want one piece of foam core board. Now, if you can't find the beware signs, get two because you can cut them down the middle to make the three pieces that we're going to need. For the beware for this um, project that I have coming up. So either three of the beware signs, it doesn't matter what color is on the back. I'm just going to sand or scrape off this glitter, but I'm painting on the back side. So you need three of those and a piece of the foam core board or two pieces of that foam board, whichever way you're going to go. So that's for the DIY I've got hopefully coming up the beginning of next week. And, um, yes, I'm super excited about that. Oh, so the story. So the beware signs weren't hanging up in my store. And I kind of went in there knowing that I was going to be lucky if I was able to find them. Just because, it's you know, they're bringing out Christmas now. Halloween stuff is going to be gone. So I didn't find them. I went past them and I thought, oh, foam core board. So I grabbed one of those. I had the witch's hat. I'm walking through the store and I was like, oh, let me go back through the Halloween just to make sure I had everything I wanted. And I was walking down the aisle and my board hit a box that was stacked on a cart and the box fell to the ground. Ta-da, the boards fell out. Those beware signs. So I was super excited. <laughs> just my little cute little story. Um, okay, so, and then you're going to need, you don't need, I purchased for my use, and I actually grabbed two of these. These are paint pens, and they're white. So I grabbed two of these. Um, I'm pretty sure paint, white paint will work, but I, I wanted these for this project, so, and they had them, so I grabbed two. Now, these aren't as good as the Sharpie oil paint pens, but they're fine. They'll work. And I also then grabbed a gold. I was hoping they had black, but they didn't. So I just grabbed the gold in the paint pen. Not for this project, but these are just also some craft stuff that I want to have for the holidays. And I know I have one of these. I have a silver and a gold. Oh, yes, I do. I'm just grabbing them. Oh, and I have a white. I didn't see the white in the store but if i do i'll grab them i'll grab one because i like to have them to write on dark paper but these are they're called glass writers although they write on paper just fine um and i'll show you here in a second but i got the gold and the silver at the store and here i've got a piece of paper so i'll show you how they write on paper which is fine i've never tried to write on glass and then wash them but it's a nice gold and it's a nice fine tip gold marker and the silver writes as well and like I said the white is awesome because you can write on like black craft paper and make it look like chalk 
And these are, they're called ornament ball markers. These are the ones I purchased last year. And like I said, I grabbed two more this year. Um, and if I see the white, I'll grab an extra white. Cause I like having things that'll write on dark paper, especially for the holidays. So I grabbed all those pens and I hadn't seen them before, but they just came out in my store. And then I picked up a 24 pack of sandpaper and this is for general crafting. Um, but it comes with, uh, la, la, la. one, two, oh, a one, 880 grit, two, 240 grit, one, 400 grit, 580, 10, oh, and a, Okay, so summer for paper, summer for wood. That's what it is. Okay, I was trying to read the label here. So waterproof abrasive paper, you get one P, one, I think it's an 80 grit, two, 240 and one 400. And then abrasive paper for wood, you get five of the 80, 10 of the 100 and five of the 150. And they're just sandpaper pieces. But these are nice to have um, when you're crafting if you want to you know, smooth things out or distress things. Sandpaper is good and that's a nice price for a 24 pack. So I grabbed one of those. Um, and then you're gonna need for the Santa hats, two of these. I got two, I might need more, but we'll see. I'm gonna cut them, but these are the um, chamois for the cars. Get them now because around Christmas time, they're gone. Um, but you wanna match them up. These two look very similar to each other, but some of them come in like a yellow tint to them. Um, some are smoother, some are more fluffy. So I just found two that were similar because I want to use them in some crafts. Um, and I'll show you, they're pretty good size. They are, they measure, you can make pillows out of these two guys. Um, with the hot glue, the fabric glue, the Velcro or sewing. These are 16 by 24 inch. They don't make a perfectly square pillow, oh, but how fun would these be at Christmas time on your couch with like a red pillow or you could sew them into a Santa hat pillow? Maybe I'll do that for you. Okay. So there, this would be what I would consider a lumbar shaped pillow for your couch, longer and square. But um, for the Santa hat, I'm gonna use two of them to make. And they're really soft. I think these are awesome for crafting. I don't know how well they dry your car, but they're great for crafting. So if you wanted to do some Christmas Santa stuff and you want this fleecy type material, um, you can buy it at a fabric store. What's nice about this is it already comes, um, what they've done is taken a, there's a name for it, a serger. And they serge the edges. If you cut this, it gets little white fluffies everywhere. So that's the benefit of this. But you can go to the craft store and buy just white fleece. But this is a little more teddy bear-like, I suppose. So you'll need that. And then the last item that you're going to need, and I did not buy this at the Dollar Tree. Um, I actually got it at Half Price Books, but a book, a book that you don't mind tearing apart for one of my Christmas crafts. I'm using the pages of the book and I liked this one because they were, it was old looking and cream colored, not white. But if you're doing something more modern or clean you can get the exact white pages or you can get craft paper but at the dollar tree for a buck a book is great to decorate your house with you know even just sit out but i'm using which is why i bought, bought this at half price look how many pages i have for some projects so i grabbed that it was on the clearance rack so those are all the items that i purchased oh, oh, sorry buddy the items that I per oh, I just not all the items I purchased. I got a can of chicken. I think I'm gonna let Wellington have some. He's not eating real good right now. So I grabbed some chicken and I grabbed some vegetable oil. I have to do some baking tomorrow. That is the end of my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I know it was small and sweet, but if you wanted to craft along 
or think that you will have some projects you would like to do, it's definitely the time to buy it because a lot of this stuff will not come back into the store. Oh, something hit me. Will not be back in the stores, especially the beware signs, although they were in last year. If you want to do some crafting, um, the Pinterest nail it or fail it that I'm going to do is a Christmas. No, I lie. It's a Halloween sign. So those are the materials that I'm going to use. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you have a good day and I will talk to you later. Bye.